Now that we have both Esther and Sylvie here, I can finally ask. Melia, who even are you? Paladin Sylvie's Trustmaster reward is a material that boosts defense and spirit if your unit's holding a shield. Furthermore, if your unit's holding a weapon, it'll also boost their equipment defense and spirit as well. Pretty straightforward. Her Super Trustmaster reward is a sword of high HP, defense, and spirit. Furthermore, when equipped to Sylvie, it'll give her an extra 1000 defense and spirit. Everyone else still gets a nice elemental resistance spread, and the ability not so fast, which removes any attack or magic buffs. That's a pretty useful ability to spam. On to her active abilities. Paladin's offense lowers your enemy's defense and spirit by 80%, boosts your team's attack and magic by 350%, their limit burst damage by 200%, boosts your team's accuracy, and fills their limit burst gauge. Paladin's defense switches to breaks to attack and magic, lowers the enemy's accuracy, switches to buffs to defense and spirit, lets your team evade 5 attacks, and fills your limit burst gauge. Both Egg Basket inflicts a 120% lightning imperil, boosts your team's lightning resistance by 150%, imbues lightning onto your team, and raises their lightning damage by 45%. Gravel Egg Basket is the same thing but Earth. Elemental Petals boost your team's fire, ice, and water resistance by 80%, lightning resistance by a whopping 200%, grants a 75% physical mitigation buff, and restores some morale. Elemental Vines covers the remaining elements, raising Earth by a whopping 200%. It also gives a 75% magical mitigation buff and a morale restore. Paladins herself gives her team a HP barrier which scares of morale, a HP and MP regen, and fills the morale gauge. Compassionate Knight removes any breaks, stop, charm, or status ailments, then gives her team resistance to said debuffs, and also restores a portion of HP and MP. Magical Wish will grant your team three different abilities, which will last until the given unit is out of the fight. Each deals magic damage that scales with morale and will chain the floating strike. The first, Stone, gives increased damage to stone-type enemies. The second and third are Demon and Insect, and guess what's different about that? Burgeoning Defense can be used once per battle. It gives your team an 85% general mitigation buff, a HP barrier that scales with morale, restores the morale, and automatically activates again for the next two turns. Passives but for Trustmaster Reward or Super Trustmaster Reward equipped, including the ones from the original Sylvie, Sylvie will boost her equipment defense and spirit when carrying a weapon, and her normal attack will change to Will Meet Again, I Promise, which is a full revive, grants them a re-race, and restores a portion of their HP and MP. She doesn't actually have too many killers, but the ones that she does have are strong. Her evasion is very good too. She also meets half the Capture the Chain limit boost, and when she's in the same party as the currently alive Stormseeker Esther, she'll boost the damage modifiers of her own abilities. I'm not quite sure why it has to be listed twice. As far as I can tell, there really isn't a difference, so if someone figures that out, feel free to share. When she's in the same party as a currently alive Woke, she gets the same buffs. At EX plus 2, she gets Return of the Paladin, which is essentially Warring Spirit, but also gives her stats. At EX plus 3, she gets more stats. Let's look at her limit burst. It boosts her team's elemental resistance by 100%. Okay, that's ridiculous. Excuse me for a second. Okay, I'm back. Yep, it's 100%. It also grants your team an HP barrier that scales with morale, boosts their stats by 350%, and boosts their limit burst damage by 250%. Time to change forms. Paladin Sylvie has a true brave shift, which has no limitations whatsoever. On to her active abilities. Sylvie's attacks do physical damage that scale with morale and her spirit stat. Crack Stone gives one ally a tremendous double killer buff against stone type enemies, and gives everyone a weaker yet still potent buff against the same species which lasts for 5 turns. Poach Demon! Oh gosh, that's scary, what were they thinking? Anyways, Poach Demon is a Crack Stone but Demon. Beaten- <laughs> These are morbid, who came up with this? Beaten Insect is the same but Insect. And dead! Clever Paladin Shrike inflicts a 25% Sword Imperil, chains of Boating Shrike, and fills your team's limit burst gauges. Cheerful Paladin Shrike chains of the Absolute Mirror of Equity and fills the morale gauge. Caring Paladin Shrike. These are nice adjectives, but you're literally attaching them to Shrike. This is like saying happy decapitation or something. Caring Paladin Shrike chains of Stardust Ray and restores your team's HP and MP. Powerful Wish is essentially the same as Magical Wish, but the granted abilities will scale for units attack and do physical damage instead of magic. Marion's Blessing, Lightning 1, can be used twice per battle. It dispels any other imbue on your team, imbues lightning onto them, boosts their lightning damage by 50%, and on the next turn, will activate Marion's Blessing, Lightning 2, which does the same thing, but now the lightning damage is up to 75%, and 
and then on the next turn, she'll automatically activate Lightning 3, which does the same thing, but the amplification buff is now up to 100%. Earth is the same thing, but Earth. I've got your back. Can be used once per battle. It boosts one ally's in burst damage by 300%, removes any breaks on them, boosts their stats by 400%, fills their limit burst gauge, and restores a big chunk of morale. Fitting. Passives. They're the same. Let's look at her limit burst. It boosts your team's stats by 400%, their limit burst damage by 250%, and strengthens the limit burst damage modifier, including those that scale with morale. Let's rank brave abilities. I'd prioritize Defender of the Adorable to increase her stats, Clever Paladin Trike to increase the number of limit burst crystals, and Paladin's Resolve to strengthen the HP barrier. So, EX2? Yeah, unfortunately it's really good here too. The stats don't matter as much as the associated effects, but the associated effects are pretty potent. An instant limit burst is great because both of Sylvie's limit bursts have powerful effects, regardless if it's for defense or offense. Her Super Trust Master reward is strong because of that Dispel ability, though that's not to say the rest of it is bad either. If there's one saving grace is that EX plus 3 is just stats, but Sylvie's vision card is also pretty good with those defensive parameters. Thankfully, she's not premium so you can just get a copy at EX plus 1, and it helps your lapis given the cost of EX plus 3. So how good is Paladin Sylvie? Remember that last really good Japanese support unit? Yeah, neither do I. Ilmatale is still a powerful support unit, but her greatest flaw was her MP consumption. Sylvie here. Sylvie here doesn't care! Go ahead, poach those demons, beat those insects, and if you need the MP, either smack the enemy, cast the regen, or revive your team, you'll get MP back. I've already taken the time to talk about what she can do, and it'd be faster to list what she can't do. She only supports 2 out of 8 elements and, I don't know, supports 3 out of 12 species. So mathematically, that's 104, 25%, failing grade. Try better next time! I guess she can't boost limit burst gauge full rate either, so I guess that's obviously a deal breaker. Why do I sound so passive aggressive when I'm praising her? Now realistically speaking, you might struggle at first. Sylvie has so many amazing abilities but can only really pull off 3 at a time. Use a limit burst or normal attack, though honestly there are ways to get around that. Personally, if I were a new player, I'd prioritize her defensive abilities first. Apply elemental resistance and other resistance buffs if I don't know what I'm fighting, but if I'm aiming for a quick victory, then obviously her brave shift takes center stage. It also has to be said that Sylvie's breaks are only 80%, and her limb burst damage buff is only 250%, which, since it's smaller than it could be, is quite obviously no better than zero. Overall, what even is the point of Japanese units? Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, leave a like and subscribe. Comment below if you summon Paladin Sylvie. If you excuse me, I'm going to go skip story mode.